Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. I've been wanting to do a video on uh, this browser application called Arc for a while now, uh, but I wanted to wait to do it on uh, the uh, Windows application uh, and just play around with the application a little bit before I before I decided to make a video on it. I have a Mac as well, so I have been testing it out on the Mac and this video will be titled something like, I don't understand the hype of this, uh, but that is mainly towards the uh, Windows application. I can understand the hype of it on uh, uh, the Mac application because the Mac application is just simply better. You have a couple of features there uh, that you, don't have here. The main one being what's uh, the whiteboarding abilities. I don't remember what they actually call it inside of the application, but um, mainly the whiteboarding abilities. So uh, apart from uh, not having like the main cool features, this application offers a few things like you have uh, spaces here. Uh, which you can change the name of. I can uh, create uh, a new space as well. I can rename the space. I can edit the team color, set a profile, have folders uh, and uh, live folders, or I can go ahead and I can delete the whole space. I won't go ahead and delete it. Uh, now I can change the emoji of this, but these are just basic things. So I can toggle this on and off as well. I can press the button here to just get a bunch of things like my new spaces, my tabs. So things like that developer uh, mode here as well. So I can view source developer inspect element JavaScript console. Uh, so um, it has a few features. It's not, it's not that it is a bad browser, but uh, it is really hyped up for an application uh, on the Windows uh, app. I might uh, like, I am going to use the uh, this as my default browser going forward because I really like it. That isn't the issue. It's just, it's just that I can't seem to understand uh, the hype it has had. Uh, but that might just be me. So um, you have the ability here to add folders. So uh, I've called the space work, but I have like personal stuff inside of here as well. So I have everything regarding my company, like the things I use, uh, like YouTube to publish the videos, tools for my daily to-do list, Gmail for my mail. This is my uh, taxes and my accounting, which I do myself. This is my calendar and we have Melanote uh, that I use as a project management tool here. I can go ahead and close this. I can uh, open this as well. I have the uh, I have uh, the MBA right here, which is mainly the personal thing I do. I watch MBA, I watch sports, um, but like the folders here are quite uh, nice and I can go ahead and I can close this. I can open this back up and the folders will sp still be there. Uh, one other thing I do like, and this is like, it is a feature that has been around in mobile applications for a while. Uh, but if I uh, turn on an NBA match uh, and uh, or I turn on a YouTube video and I switch my tabs, let's say I switch to my medium right here uh, and I just switch to this, uh, there will be a small like thumbnail player playing in the corner uh, and I can drag it to place it wherever I want. That is a really neat and cool feature. So that is one thing I do really like about Arc Browser. Another uh, thing that I really like about Arc Browser, this is mainly something I use on the Mac again, uh, but that is because I have uh, two uh, quite big screens uh, when uh, I am on my Windows, uh, when I'm on my Windows app. So that isn't an issue, but on the Mac, I only have like the MacBook Air uh, screen. This is actually uh, something I like a lot. So having the ability to do two screens, I really like this. Uh, I can uh, change the split view option here. I can separate it. I can convert to a vertical split view. I haven't actually ever used a vertical uh, split view ever in my life. Uh, it is mainly the horizontal one. 
I can go ahead and I can close this back up again. So uh, that is a cool feature and a lot of the things that this offers, like having the ability to pin things here, I haven't actually gone ahead and changed this, but having the ability to pin things, having a, a bunch of like small things here that make the application cool and definitely uh, I will end up using this as my primary browser going forward both on the Mac and the Windows application definitely on the Mac because it has so many features um, I'm hoping that uh, the Windows application at some point reaches uh, reaches uh, feature parity with the uh, Mac app but even on this, I, I like this better than I like many other browsers I have tested out. And I have tested out a few new ones like Cosmic, for example. Uh, but until recently, I have only been using Microsoft Edge. That has been my go-to browser. And I really like this. I like the user interface of this. I like the fact that they have a different take on... Uh, on a web browser compared to a lot of the other ones out there. Um, however, there are a couple of things that uh, makes it makes it a little hard for me to understand because I can't seem to understand why it is so hyped up. I mean, it is good, but I can't understand why everyone uh, seems to be talking about this browser. That might just be me or it might just be the fact that it isn't as good on a, a Windows uh, machine than compared to a Mac. It might be that as well. That is the first thing. And uh, I I have always had an issue with uh, like recommending applications that only function well on uh, one piece of hardware. So whether that's either functioning well on iPhone or Android or Windows or um, iOS or Mac OS, um, so uh, I've always had an issue with that, but um, I can't seem to understand the hype. That's the whole point. It is a good browser. That is one thing. Another thing I'm like not understanding properly is how is this browser company ever going to make uh, money on this? Uh, my guess is that or my guess would be that they would add some sort of AI, but uh, you already have a mobile application with AI and turning something that used to be free into something that is now paid is a terrible idea. I also saw that they are working on a new product for quote unquote normal people, not productivity nerds like myself and many others. Um, because that is what this application is tailored towards right now, productivity nerds uh, and people who just like software. Uh, my father, my mother, even my sister, uh, little sister, my girlfriend probably would never use an application like this right now because like the main selling point is added productivity, which people, that aren't in the productivity space do not necessarily care about but uh, again uh, might just be me the point being it is a really good uh, application i can't seem to understand the hype behind it that's the point uh, i will be using this as my primary browser but uh, i still think especially on the windows application it is just to hype up. Anyways, thank you so, so much for watching today's video. If you are interested in productivity software and just productivity and mental health in general, please do hit the subscribe button, like the video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.